What's up, back? Richard? Listen, if you needed a house, I'm sure I could have found you an apartment instead of having living on the property, okay? Yeah, you got to make good decisions in life or you'll end up in a van down by the river. Well, or a van outside the, outside the station. <laughs> this is it. I the mean, that's amazing. That's amazing. And I mean, yeah, I don't even know why you do this. Why would you even... Like, what was the appeal? I mean, yes, it was $3,000, but it was that or the junkyard. <laughs> you did that guy a favor. Yeah, that's, that, that's what Gonzo said. Gonzo said, they got you. you, they, they yeah, got you. Exactly. No engine either? I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, we had to tow it over here. So, we had, no, I'm so, yeah, so, it, so it, it does it function? It does. does it it actually function? AC works. The shower works. TV does does works, the toilet drain? The toilet drains. Everything. Okay. Generator works. I mean... I mean, that sign is amazing. <laughs> For anything, we got that. Look at that face. That face looks like I just got I just got shafted on a deal. And they yeah. and they and they left it in there. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> that, that face says, how much did I pay for this thing? Yeah. You want how much for this? <laughs> All right, it's another edition of the Rolling with Richard Super Tailgate. We are one day closer to Super Bowl 57, so why not talk to a guy that's won this game not once, but twice, the Max Starks, former Arizona Cardinal, former Pittsburgh Steeler. Max, thanks for joining us, buddy. Thanks. My pleasure, Richard, as always. This is a look at our little museum here. I love the confines. You love it, yeah? I mean, this is a professional museum. In yeah. case you guys were wondering, this is a parking lot, <laughs> and Richard does have these out here. For sale. It's no, not, no, it's not no, just no. for show. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> he took off the stickers. <laughs> this is this is every single Super Bowl patch ever made, from Super Bowl wow. one all the way to 56. I'm waiting on 57. I got 40 and 43 here. I love games that. that you played in. What goes to your mind when you see this patch? Super Bowl 40, the Buffs. Jerome Bettis' last game. This. Woo! Look at that. That's what it gives me. That was my first Super wow. Bowl ring. That yep. Nice. Um, but the emotion that comes behind that is just. Like, this is a childhood dream, right? You play a game at the end of the day, and the fact that we get to play it at the ultimate level, and you get to do what you only dreamed of as a kid, right? Like, we're tossing that football right. around. That was something you did in the backyard. That was something you say, man, why can't I beat Jerry Rice right. and Joe Montana? Why can't I beat Emmitt Smith and Troy Aikman? Like, these are the, the games that I saw as a kid growing up and saying, man, I hopefully one day, Super Bowl 30, which I'm glad we don't have a turn to right, that one. Exactly, that was here, yeah. That I, I distinctly remember that Super Bowl, of all Super Bowls, was the one that I watched with my buddy, William Whitehead. And I remember saying, man, I want to do that one day. It would be awesome to do that one day. Then not only do I get to do that, but then I get to do it on the team that I was watching on there, hoping would win that game. And it just, it makes you pinch yourself. You know, the other thing that Super Bowl 40, outside of Jerome and the significance of that, we're bringing him home was that was also the only other game played in Detroit for a Super Bowl outside of my father playing in 1982 against Joe Montana. Wow, I did not know that. So my father played in his only Super Bowl in Detroit, and then fitting, I would go there for my first Super Bowl wow. in Detroit as well. So it has that sentimental value to it. And uh, that's why I wore this ring today. I know a lot of Cardinals fans don't like to see the other ring. <laughs> right, around. exactly. That one's definitely very gaudy, but... <laughs> But, you know, for this one, this is that symbolism that I look for. And, you know, what, what, what some guys will experience come Super Bowl Sunday out here in the desert, they will get to experience that same adulation, that same type of moment that I felt all those years ago. And that roller coaster of emotions that, that fans got to experience during Super Bowl 43 when you see Fitzgerald make the catch, the touchdown, <laughs> yeah. you're thinking, oh, the Cardinals are going to win. And then Santonio Holmes comes through. Take it easy on us. What do you think about this Super Bowl? That that one was special to me because that was as close as I was going to get to home. Like I'm from Orlando, Florida originally. So Tampa was the closest NFL city to my hometown. So for me, that was like my homecoming game. You know, like, like Jerome had in Detroit, right. that was the closest I was going to get was going to Tampa. So I took it personal. I felt good about it. And yes, I know Fitz and I are, are buddies. We had, this, we had the same agent. And so I knew there was a lot of angst out here I trained out here since <laughs> since combine so before I was a rookie I was already exposed to to Phoenix in the desert and so that one was like one of those I gotta have it because my mom my cousin everybody's here my added, everybody came I had 40 Super Bowl tickets for wow. that which now if I bet pay for those I would make yeah. them watching at home yeah, exactly. I would have bought them a really nice television <laughs> to watch it 
sent them a couple door dashes, maybe a gold belly. And still had and said, money left over. And said, hey, have fun. You're not coming to this game. Right. <laughs> not at these prices. Yeah, no, not at these prices today, no. All right, here we go. You ready for the big reveal? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Nothing but the best for you. We've got... Uh, oh! D-back dogs. D-back dogs? Yeah. Those are real dogs. Which, which is kind of interesting because we, we interviewed Gonzo. He got Wendy's. You get, we should have been the other way around. My personal assistant is... is is off right now. Yeah, so, yeah, so exactly. She's out, but but at least they brought two dogs. Yeah, not yeah. just one. They got two. <laughs> that was the best for you. Listen, I was I was ready to throw this. I was ready to throw a foul because I did play. not see any smoke or grill marks or anything that resembled that this thing's actually attached. So I just got two perfectly placed hot dogs in place. D back quarter pound hot dogs. The so magic of it. television. It is. It's amazing. It's magical. Now where's the ketchup and mustard? <laughs> All right, Max, here we go. All right, let's see Give it. you the nickel tour here. Welcome to 1999. Well, this is truly a nickel tour. <laughs> the damn steps don't even come out. Is this rated for me to step it's on this? 300 pounds is the, the most it can handle. Well, then you know what? I'm just going to do that. <laughs> just to make sure. <laughs> just to because, make sure. yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't trust that grading. This is it. You know, we got skin. the TV here. Well, what? <laughs> It works. L listen, I, I, I bet it does. I bet it does. <laughs> Did you replace the tube? <laughs> no, not, not yet. <laughs> Sharp. I didn't even know they still made TVs. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. But can you imagine having this in 1999? You were the man. I mean, you were with the decorative stained <laughs> glass there to look at yourself. <laughs> we also have, I changed the lights. I went to LED lights. Oh, there we you go. Know, a little bit of an upgrade. Welcome you know. to the 21st century. <laughs> the smoke Shit. alarm, though, I don't think this is up to, this is up to code. <laughs> I'm not sure if that works. We got the clock. I think we might need a battery or two. Oh my God. I mean, li listen, listen, when I was wondering where Touch of Class magazine, who still buys that, I know that you still well, are course, on their mail yeah. order list. This is absolutely reminding me of high school all over again. Yeah, this is this is the place I didn't want. This is the house you didn't want to visit. <laughs> well, if you need to borrow it anytime, you know, it's, we're, we're listen, yours, it's mine is yours, yours is mine. I appreciate it. If I'm ever filming like a 90s hip hop show, <laughs> yeah. I'll be sure to call you first. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs>